Clark, what progress have we made with the puppet? We are still missing the... Boldino. You're alive. I have already had to dispose of three potential replacements, the last of which spoke with a terrible accent that gave me a splitting headache. Where the bloody hell have you been? Somebody clubbed me over the head and threw me in their trunk. When I woke up I was chained to a wall in the basement of a Mexican restaurant next to Sean White and Richard Karn. Why? What happened? I woke up with a splitting headache to Richard Karn talking about grocery shopping with his mother. Sean was trying to chew his leg off. We were able to liberate ourselves using a sack of beans, Sean's snowboard and a bottle of hot sauce. After freeing ourselves we found some matches and a bottle of tequila. What was the tequila for? Richard Karn of course. Unfortunately tequila doesn't ignite nearly well as gasoline. Sean nearly went through the entire book of matches, while Richard kept saying I don't think so Sean. Twas a shame. I rather enjoyed the Home Improvement series and considered him to be the voice of reason in the show. He had far more value than this Sean White character you speak of. Perhaps you are right, but Sean has offered a reward for assisting him in his escape. What reward is that then? He has offered valuable materials that will speed up the production of our new puppet. Very well. But, I do believe that we should then dispose of this Sean White character after he has expired his value to us. I suppose that makes sense. Are you positive that this course of action is not merely your resentment of Richard Karn's destruction? Volgino. Do not take me for a vengeful monstrosity. I am merely offering a logical conclusion to our course of action. Very well. Clark. Why hasn't the episode ended yet? Oh yes, I almost forgot. We are supposed to wish Bill a happy birthday. Who the hell is Bill? I do not know. It just seems to be appropriate. Happy birthday, Bill. Very well, happy birthday, Bill. <laughs>